Charles says I look like a mom in them and I'm like, you realize one day I will be to your children. So where's the problem? To me, there's a big difference between thrifting online versus thrifting in a brick and mortar store. It just feels so much more like treasure hunting, especially when you go to the really junky, kind of out of the way places, which is where I went this week. So arg, let me show ye me plunder. What? Uh, anyway, today's just gonna be a pretty standard thrift haul. The main thing being that all of this was purchased in a store in my community, and I didn't go to the major chain thrift stores. I avoided Goodwill and Salvation Army. They've just become much more expensive these days. I went to three separate rural, why is that word so hard to say? Rural <laughs> thrift stores. They all benefit a local nonprofit. I wanted to do this as a thrift with me and film in the stores as I went through them. But for one, I feel really self-conscious doing that. And two, uh, this, this community I live in is not ready for that. I'll try to show you a few snippets that I did get, but for the most part, I'm just gonna be showing you what I got. And this is a pretty good haul. I got some good stuff, I must say, for very cheap, which is the main reason why I thrift. So the first place that I went is my usual spot, but I haven't done a full out treasure hunting mode thrifting trip there in a while. I've just kind of casually perused and mostly looked at crafting stuff, but let me, dump this out before I show you because the bag crinkling is gonna drive me insane. So this first location, they have a pretty good variety of stuff. They have not had the fitting rooms open for almost two years now, which at this point I'm like, can you just leave them open and put a sign that says use at your own risk? Like for being a little dinky local place, they do usually have a pretty good selection. I usually don't find a lot there, but I usually find something. It's a good go-to spot if I feel like thrifting, but don't want to be in there for hours and don't want to get overwhelmed. Although I was overwhelmed on this day that I went. For some reason, just the amount of people and I don't know, I was feeling very overwhelmed. All right, so the first thing that I got was these beautiful little earrings. It occurred to me after I bought them that this is probably not the packaging it came on because I was like, wow, wow surgical, surgical steel, steel posts. posts. And then that's probably not what these are made of, but they're really cute. Let me see if I can show you. Really simple, like classic designs like this are what I usually wear. Something with just a little bit of sparkle, but that doesn't overwhelm. I think I will get a good amount of use out of these. So I picked up this pair of black riding boots. Even though a few videos ago I said that I was not sure how I felt about riding boots, I did kind of want to give them a try. I keep seeing them a lot in historical and like fantasy inspired outfits, but these were only $8. They're my size, they're already broken in, and I liked that they're just kinda plain. And $8 is my kind of price. I also picked up this little brown belt. It is not leather, but it kinda looks like it. This is definitely the kind of thing that I will get use out of because um, it's plain and it's brown and it looks like leather. Simple things like this can be really good for tying an outfit together, and I did not have a belt like this yet. Next up is this bright pink cardigan. That's probably not something you ever thought you'd see on this channel. I'm not sure what it is, but I kind of just really like this. <laughs> I think especially now that I've been gravitating toward wearing more black, I've been enjoying adding pops of pink and purple to that. I don't know, this color just, I like it. I like it a lot. Another sweater item. I don't really know what drew me to this either. It's just an ivory poncho. Again, with being drawn to like fantasy inspired outfits lately, maybe I was just feeling like this was kind of Nordic and Viking-ish or just grandma core, who knows. This cute little top I thought would be perfect for the summer. The embroidery reminds me of the outfits in Midsummer, but uh, you know, we'll just leave the culty stuff out of this and it's in really good shape. Usually thrifting things that are white or ivory can be tricky because they have so many stains. I don't know what it is, but this nothing, not even on the armpits. It is pretty pristine. Another off-white top. This is just your basic button down blouse that I kind of don't know why I picked it up. It's definitely at least a size maybe too, too big. I said in my last decluttering video that I was looking for an ivory blouse to replace the one I have right now, uh, but I don't, I don't think this is it. I'm gonna hang on to it for a while and see if I get some use out of it, but it's kind of boring. And again, this is the problem with not being able to try things on in the store. If I had been able to, I would know that 
this doesn't really work for me. So it's not terrible. I am gonna keep it for now and see if I get any use out of it. The shoes I do try on though, without a fitting room. People definitely give me some weird looks like taking off my shoes in the middle of a thrift store, but I am so picky about my shoes. Anyway. And then I also got this fake denim dress. Some of you might be like, wait a minute, Melody, you already have a denim dress? Yes, I do, but I like this one better. What I like about this one better is that it's a looser fit. It still has, you know, clean, simple lines, but it just feels more relaxed. The rigidness of the other denim dress is fine. I just think this suits me better. It suits my personality and my preferences better anyway. It does need to be taken in a little bit under the arms. It's just a little bit too big. I think this will be really cute and comfortable when we get around to warmer weather. And the last thing I got at my first stop was these black corduroy pants. These are, according to the tag, the same size as another pair of corduroys I have by the same brand, but they fit very differently. These fit great on my thighs and my bum. There is too much room around the waist. I don't know why people keep making pants like this. What? Who? But why? Why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? Why? Because they fit so well on my thighs and I love corduroy. I probably will just try to take them in. I've seen a bunch of tutorials floating around YouTube on how to do this. It's just frustrating. That was always a problem I ran into as a kid as well. Like even back in middle school when I was just a little bean pole, pants would fit my legs and then just have all this room at the waist and I was like, I am confusion. And I thought it was just because we were buying inexpensive jeans from Walmart, but this is Talbot's. I expect better from you, Talbot's, come on. Am I pronouncing that wrong? Is it Talbo? Hi, I'm just interrupting your regularly scheduled content because while I've been editing it, I decided to also stop at the sister store to the first location I went to. It has the same name, it's just smaller in a different location and I got some really good stuff there and I kind of wanted to include it in this video but I don't feel like doing the setup for a full try on and everything so I'm just gonna really quickly do a speed round of everything that I got. So I got three tops, this mauve kind of berry pink one, this green flannel that someone very clearly cropped themselves. It very much looks like a DIY to me, but that's fine. I kind of like it. And this little Hawaiian number. I think what's fun about this is that it's a Hawaiian top, but it's very neutral, so it doesn't feel so obnoxious and loud. So I can kind of try out that look without full on committing to it. I picked up these 100% linen pants, which I think will be really nice in the summer, hopefully. This long velvet slip dress that definitely needs a lot of TLC but I'm confident that with a little bit of love, I can get a lot of use out of it. I think this will be really something beautiful. And lastly, this pair of overalls. So I don't love that these are a skinny jean fit. I would prefer more of a relaxed straight leg fit, but they do fit. How many times can I say fit in this one segment? Jeez. So I probably will still keep them and use them for painting, gardening, anything like that. I mean, for five bucks, I'm not mad. So the following day is when I went to my next two stops. And the first place I went was probably the junkiest of the three, but it had the best prices. I had stopped there before with Charles one day and was like, I'm totally coming back here and looking through these clothes because most things were like $2, which is insane. You can't find those prices at pretty much any thrift store nowadays. Again, they did not have a fitting room, but the space was so small, I kind of didn't expect them to. It very much was one of those places where I almost didn't even expect stuff to be sorted by size because like the shelves of, you know, housewares and other stuff, it's just thrown there, like have at it. <laughs> but it's definitely a place I will be going back to because um, like I said, the prices were just so good. They also have the best prices on fabric that I've seen so far. They just have like a children's pack and play set up and miscellaneous fabric dumped in it. Like that's their storage for the fabric. And right now at least their price was $3 to fill up like a grocery bag, which is really good because my usual place that I go to, the first place I went, they've been marking their fabric kind of high, even like bed sheets and stuff. Um, and I think that's because a lot of Amish people come through and buy up all the fabric. <laughs> I did get a couple non-clothing things. The first being this album by Heart. The cover is badly beat up, but the record inside looks fine. I also picked up these wooden candlesticks. They need to be cleaned up a little bit. I don't have anywhere to put these right now. I'm probably gonna have to just put them in storage, but I thought they were a really nice set and I would love to decorate with these if I had the space. I know it's not smart to buy stuff for a space that you don't 
have, but sometimes you find stuff that's just such a good deal. And then just this random length of chain. So I frequently save my old jewelry and we'll just make new stuff later. So this was a really good amount of chain to just play with and uh, make some stuff with. I, I don't know what yet, but crafting supplies. But now onto the clothes. I definitely got a lot of clothing at this second spot. I picked up a shirt for Charles because why not? All right, so this sweater, I picked it up for me. It was from the men's section and I was really, really hoping it would fit just like an oversized sweater vest, but I was swimming in it. Like it was just drowning me. So this is gonna become a Charles one too, but like, how cute is that? So Charles didn't want this sweater vest, even though I think it would look so handsome on him, he doesn't want it. So I did manage to shrink it a little bit in the wash, and I think it's more doable for me now. I think this will work. Here's the crazy thing that never happens when I can't try stuff on. Every single pair of pants I bought the second day fit, even without me trying them on in the store, like just looking at them and guessing. What? So, those being two pairs of shorts, they were each 50 cents, which is insane. That is so cheap. So I got this khaki pair. Charles says I look like a mom in them. And I'm like, you realize one day I will be to your children. So where's the problem? I probably will crop them a little. The length is a little dorky, but I like the high-waisted trouser look of them. And these as well, I think I wanna crop them a little bit too, but these kind of have that very casual mom short look that I've seen a lot. And they just are relatively comfortable, you know? I don't feel like anything's gonna pop out that I don't want to pop out. I also got a pair of cargo pants. I feel like I've been looking for a decent pair of cargo pants for a year now, and there's just always something wrong with them. They don't fit, or the rise is wrong, or just they aren't there. Actually, yeah, that's the main problem I'm finding is that they just don't exist. <laughs> so these are definitely not my ideal cargo pants. I've been looking for a pair of black ones, but these are pretty good, especially for $2. I kind of want to move the pocket a little further down. The pocket's a little bit high on the butt, but I think these will be a good, comfortable, casual pant. And then the last pair of pants I got at my second location is these Dockers trouser pant. Oh, the sun's coming right through that window. I've been wanting to try out more pants with a trouser fit, so this is a step in that direction. I got two dresses, but I'm actually going to make stuff out of both of them. I told myself I was gonna stop buying things that need to be altered, but I'm a big fat liar. So this dress, I literally only bought for the lace. I just thought the black lace was really nice. Stretchy. Same with this. This is definitely not a style that I wear ever. It's just a ribbed knit dress and it's kind of one of those almost bodycon slim fit ones. I don't like that style, but I liked the mock neck of it and I like the color of the fabric. So I might just separate it into a skirt and a crop top. We'll see. I don't know. I just, I kind of like the fabric. So apparently I'm just in a purple mood. This is the sweater that started it all. I think I bought it in 2020, like on a whim. I always thought I couldn't wear purple and then was like, oh, that doesn't look half bad. This shade, however, is not quite right. Yeah, when I see them side by side, the shade I'm wearing is a little bit warmer. This is a little bit cooler. I thought it would be a cute summer tank top, but the color is just eh. And I didn't realize when I picked it up that the shoulders are really stretched out. Like the elastic is almost completely worn out on this. So I don't know. I could make it into some other type of top maybe. I, I don't want to just crop it. That it's kind of boring. Yeah, if you have any ideas of what I should make with this, definitely drop them down in the comments. And then this is more periwinkle than purple. I absolutely love this color and I think it looks pretty decent on me as well. The only thing is the fabric is very stiff. When I tried it on, it just felt very stiff and boxy. So I'm hoping that washing it will help with that. This is another one that I'm not sure about. I really like the color, but the fit is just a little iffy. And the last thing I got from this location was just a t-shirt with an eagle and it says land of the free home of the brave i don't know why it says established 2007 does this belong to like a brand that i don't know about i was thinking like oh just a casual murica shirt you know 
I just thought it was a nice casual shirt. I've kind of been gravitating more toward looser fitting casual t-shirts, you know, sometimes with a graphic on them, sometimes plain. So my original plan for my third and final stop was to check out our local Habitat Restore. It's a bit of a drive away, but it's the closest one we have and I haven't been there yet. Uh, but they close at four. Who, who does that? By the time I left the prior location and got myself a bite to eat, it was already three o'clock and I was like, I'm not gonna get there till after 3.30, so ah, I drove all the way down here for nothing. Thankfully, there was another local thrift store location nearby, so I went to that one instead. It was equally as junky as the last place. It just had like all this furniture stacked up by the front window, very dimly lit, which always makes me a little uncomfortable. Slightly higher prices, um, but still pretty cheap. There were a lot of signs on the walls that said like, no tag, no sale. If you switch the tags, you will be prosecuted, and I was like, Oh geez, I guess that's a problem around here. It was a little frustrating though because I found this cute bag that I kind of wanted but it didn't have a tag on it and I was like, well, what am I supposed to do? I, I didn't take it off. Yeah, at this point in the day, I kind of was struggling to still be motivated to treasure hunt, but I pushed through and found some really good stuff. I picked up this little black crossbody bag. It's not amazing. It's got a few scuffs on it and the strap definitely needs some TLC, but I've been looking for just a small black crossbody bag because I have a light brown one, a dark brown one, but I don't have a black one. So this seems like it'll do the job. And then the only other two things that I purchased from this last location were two pairs of pants that again, they fit great. It's a miracle. It's a freaking miracle. I'm like, thank you, Jesus. I'm so happy. I have pants that fit. It's the little things, guys. So first up is this pair of... I don't know what you would call them, khakis, casual cargo khakis. They just kind of make me feel like Rick O'Connell in the best possible way, especially if I pair them with the boots that I got. They're definitely some kind of like off-brand by the tags. It just, there's no name. It just says the size and that it's 65% cotton and 35% polyester. Professional dry clean, yeah right. I really like these. I think these will be really fun to make some like adventurer type <laughs> outfits with. The last thing I got is definitely out of my usual realm of stuff that I wear, but for six dollars I thought it was worth the risk. It's a pair of high-rise flared pants, like seriously flared bell bottoms. I usually avoid things with a button fly, but looking at the rise of these, I was like, oh, these are going to be very high-waisted. And they are. They come up to my belly button, which is all that I want, and they fit really great on my waist and my hips and my thighs. They're the most ridiculous flare, but I kind of like it. I don't know. I just, I like that it adds some variety. I probably will need to trim them a little bit. Thankfully, they're a rough hem, so I don't need to like finish it. I just need to snip it <laughs> because I don't really wear heels higher than like two inches, so they're going to drag on the floor no matter what at this point. Um, surprisingly, these are from Shein. Now, I am not saying go out and buy Shein pants. All I'm saying is if you see some at the thrift store, maybe give them a second look because uh, these are decent. Like they're very soft and they fit really good. What is happening? I got a lot of bottoms that fit really good. I'm amazed. I'm so amazed. I'm like, wow, that's a lot of pants that I have now. But that's been one of the biggest issues I've been running into with trying to create outfits is I just always feel like I don't have the right bottoms to go with an outfit. So five pairs of pants, two pairs of shorts, that's pretty good. I'm pretty content with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed just seeing stuff that I got. Are you as nosy as I am? Like, I just always wanna know what people have in their closet. If you enjoyed this type of video, let me know. I was thinking about doing another one where I check out the church thrift stores in my area because those are even tinier and often even junkier. But sometimes when you find stuff at those, it's like an even better steal. Like that is some serious treasure hunting. So I was thinking of doing that, possibly a yard sale thrift haul once we get some warmer weather. If you're interested in that, definitely let me know. I do have several more styling videos planned, a series of styling videos that I wanna do. They're on the docket. I just haven't had motivation to get around to them yet because I'm still in sewing mode. If you also sew, you know that like when inspiration hits, you can't just walk away from it. You need to hang on to it and use it for all that it's worth. But I am definitely losing daylight, so I need to wrap up. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to let me know what you think about these types of videos in the comments. Um, yeah, okay, bye.
I am sorry if the lighting is weird. This is just what I deal with in this room. Out of the way rural thrifts, rural? What did I do with my hands there? I was like, anyway. Hello. Writer, writing, writer. <laughs> the hardest button to button. Corduroy, corduroy.